Good morning, it is Wednesday, although I convinced myself it was Thursday this morning. I've even took my pill, which has got days on it, and it's I took the Thursday one. So I don't quite know what's happened there. I got myself into a real state last night. So during the night, two things happened. Lula decided to be sick all over our bed. She came onto our bed, she had a real bad night because of fireworks. Came onto our bed and decided to be sick all over it. So I was frantically stripping the bed and all the rest of it at like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock last night. And then just settled down to go to sleep and finally did settle and there was an almighty bang and I was convinced that someone had smashed my car and it turned out it wasn't. It was Ewan who'd obviously rolled over and knocked his bedside table and God knows what else flying. So I went in and said, do you want some help? And he was just like half asleep. No, no, leave it, leave it. And I was like, but what's on there? You haven't spilled a drink or anything, have you thinking if there's electrical? So it just got me into a bit of a panic attack. So I was like, what the hell? Anyway. It's all good. Woke up thinking it was Thursday, thinking I didn't have, I had one day left to do all my returns and stuff, and realised it's not, it's Wednesday. So I still need to get them done. I'm still behind on where I should be for a number of reasons, but at least it's, I mean, in some ways, it's disappointing normally that it's not a Thursday because it's close to the weekend, but I've just got a lot to do. And obviously, I've got a half day Friday, so. What a banana. Anyway, I've come down the usual, making my coffee. Don't know what's planned today other than I'm going to cast to crochet tonight. So, and I think I'm having tea around there because her husband's away with work. So, I'm going to do that. And then, it's just work, 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 work. I've got to edit my video and see how that's turned out because I tried to do a bit of a cook along, cook with me. And, um, it was late by the time I tried to do it in there. I had to get my big light out, but it was just, I don't know. It's just one of them crazy things. We'll see how it's turned out. I need to try and do my cooking videos at the weekend when there's actually a bit more light and not so many people in the house. Right, Eddie's milk going in. I'm not hungry yet, so I'm not having breakfast just yet. My milk. But yeah, dinner was delicious last night. That chicken thing, I highly recommend doing it. I probably in my air fryer, unless there was just there was less of us, I probably wouldn't do it in my air fryer again, but just because it took so long. And it's not me just thinking it took so long. I have my meat temperature out. Why is it not centering on me? Um, I had my my meat thermometer out and um, that basically kept saying it was like 54 instead of 70 something so that's why I left it in so it's not me just thinking oh it doesn't look cool because I actually was probing it with the thermometer don't need to make bread today I've got a whole loaf of the sun-dried tomato and cheddar it's not been cut into, so I don't need to do that. Oh, I did leave my herbs and spices out last night. What was I thinking? I need to go over there. When I was away with um, Chloe, I saw all this, um, these adverts for these little spice village that are little houses that are by a company called Lennox. And it turns out that it's a vintage brand. They've made them for years. And they are beautiful. I would so like a Lennox Spice Village. I don't know where I'd put it in my kitchen. I would so like a Lennox Village. But it's really expensive, like ridiculous. I didn't realise how expensive it was until I looked again. Also, I did frame two of my pictures from um, the, in the frames I got at Ikea last night. Now, these pictures I've had, I'm thinking like at least two years because I actually bought them for the office stroke studio downstairs when I used to share it with Chloe. And that's when I worked at a previous job that I'd been at for 10 years. So I left there in July 22. So I've had these pictures and they've just been left in the little clear thing that I got them in. They were for a while, they were wedged into like the Calax so that they were just at the front of the Calax. But it's such a shame because they're actually quite nice. Look. So this one says on it, life is a one time offer, use it well. And this one just has some watercolor flowers and says grow on it. 
which actually would be quite good for Kaza, because <laughs> that's the plan she's following. Watched her new video last night for her new channel, so her cooking channel, where she'd got a new um, ninja oven. So I'm excited to see what she does with that channel because I love to watch her cook and bake, so I'm really excited for that. So if you haven't subscribed, I think it's called Cook With Cook With Kaza, or is it Cook With Karen? I think it's Cook With Kaza. I just got everyone subscribed without even paying much attention, to be honest, and then it popped up the video was there yesterday, so very excited for that. And that's it, I'll stop waffling on because um, I've not got much else to tell you and I shall catch you when I have some breakfast. So new, Ewan's new computer's arrived. Obviously it looks nice when it's all lit up, when it's plugged in, but he's just had to put the side panel on because it come with the solid side panel instead of the glass. But yeah, it's a nice Predator Orion. I think it's an Acer, isn't it? So yeah, very nice. That's what it is there. So he's going to have fun on his day off now setting that up. He's just been moving stuff around and putting a desk in his um, his room. So he's got space. He's got, a, he's got a chair that's currently sitting in my car that he's putting together. And then um, oh, he's getting monitors and keyboards and peripherals arriving throughout the day, I think. I've come down to make some breakfast. So I'm just going to have some toast just to keep it simple. It's 20 past 10. Um, logged on to work and discovered that my boss is actually on annual leave for the next three days which took me by surprise a little bit because I've got stuff I need him to approve so I was a little bit like cross that he hadn't told me but it turned out he hadn't told my colleague either so there's two of us both in the dark he has a message since to say that he can still do stuff he's just on annual leave so he doesn't lose it I don't blame him, I don't want to lose my annual leave either but at least tell your staff that's what's happening because I've spent a good little while worried that I'm not going to get my back returns so much in time Anyway, I'm going to have marmalade, I think, on mine. I'm trying to do the bread maker at the same time because the bread maker needs to go on because I've only got the sun-dried tomato bread. So if anyone wants anything like toast and jam, you can't really have jam on it. So, it's very awkward to get around my kitchen because I've got boxes and stuff in the way. Has that got that panel on it? So that all needs to be kept then. Yeah, we'll have to put in the garage on or something, or the shed or something. All right, anyway, I shall catch you when I get my toast ready. Bread maker is on, so I'm just finishing my toast. I think I'm gonna have some of this maple and pecan peanut spread on it. And then on the other one, I'm just gonna have a bit of marmalade. So that's my choice for breakfast today. And it weren't particularly low in calories, I realise that, but I'm really hungry. I just need to get something quite quick because I'm really busy with work today. I've also got all my concoction of tablets out my vitamins that I've started taking. Bread makers on, I've just put a rapid loaf on today because um, there's no white bread left, it's just the sun-dried tomato one so in case anyone wants any for lunch it's half ten now so that'll be two hours so it'll be done just about in time so I'll show you my toast once I've got the, the spread on it because I can't actually do this one-handed. realised I have my tripod down here so what I'm doing is, what I do to weigh out things like this is I put it on the scales and then I zero it and then I can see how much I've used because it goes into a minus figure. So, 15 grams is 90 something calories, so let me just work it out. Quite oily. Give it a quick stir. Right, zeroed. Oh my god, I've just seen on my watch that the Donald Trump has won the US election. I'm not even going to start to get political, but I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, 15 grams all weighed out. I'll quickly uh, do my marmalade. I was going to show you my scales, but it doesn't really matter whether you believe me or not, does it? Because it's me that ultimately won't lose any weight. naughty and gone in with a dirty knife into my marmalade but it's only me that eats the thick marmalade 28 grams of marmalade 
Because it's thick marmalade, it does seem to weigh quite heavy. So I just have to make sure I have a light lunch. I'm actually popping out to the shop, so I'll have to see if I can get myself a cup of soup or a soup or something that I can have that's quite low in calories to make up for a fairly high calorie breakfast. look very aesthetic I have to say <coughs> but here's my toast so that's the one with the the maple peanut butter and that's the marmalade so that's what I've got for breakfast. I haven't tracked the calories yet because my phone's actually upstairs on charge, so I'll do that when I get upstairs. And um, I shall catch you later for lunch. Just back from Morrison's, I went for my lunch and I managed to spend about £111, but I did get some like snowballs and cherry bees for Christmas and stuff. So I bought lots, I think I bought six wild deodorants because they're on offer for £4.50 instead of £6. And we all use it, so I thought I might as well pick them up while they're on offer. And then I bought Shampoo and conditioner for Ewan. I've got a hair dye just to do my roots. And I got um, shower gel for Eddie and Ewan to use and one for me to use. So I've got lots of toiletries and they always cost a lot of money. I also bought a lasagna that cost £7.50, which stuck in my throat a bit because they're only about £4 in Lidl, but I couldn't get deodorant and stuff in. Um, oh, thank you very much. And Tom's made me a special favourite. <laughs> Which, to know what a special favourite is, you have to watch Stitch by Mrs. D. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you. I bought myself a soup. I'll show you when I dish it out. So here's my lunch. I've got half a container of the cauliflower soup. That's Eddie's. And that's mine. And I think it's 187 calories for the half a container. So not too bad. I haven't got any bread with it yet. I might still have some. I'm not sure yet. I'm round with this one at my sister's. And uh, I was a lot later leaving home than I intended to because I was supposed to be leaving at five-ish, then got stuck talking to some people in the US about invoicing. And then I've got Tom asking questions about his job application. So I ended up leaving a bit later and then um, got here and obviously been nattering, but yeah, I got here a bit later than I intended. But look at this for a setup. A romantic meal for two. <laughs> we just got like pie though. Oh, it's not just any pie, place. is it? It's not it's just any pie. It's Marks and Spencer. It's Marks and Spencer. 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 I think so, but I'm quite happy to watch it again, if you've already watched it. I haven't watched this, the last one, because I, I don't want to watch what I'm on, because I think it might ruin your, what you're watching. What do you mean? Because where am I, Matt? You can watch Vlogmas 2021, because I'm going to watch them all anyway. I oh, will just leave it as this one. I don't think I showed you my finished decking when it's all clean, and my paving slabs, but... That's the finished article and it is dark. I'm back from Cass. It's currently 25 to 10. So I'm gonna go in, sit down, perhaps do a little bit more crochet before I go to bed, but I'll be going to bed soon. Um, up early again tomorrow. Oh, I need to put my bread away. My bread's been left out. I'll do that now and then um, I'll take my coat off first. Maybe have a cup of tea or something along those lines. And I shall see you tomorrow for another video. I had a good time crocheting. I've got the middles and the next round done on all eight of my final squares. I'm just on the third round. So hopefully I'll get those finished quite quickly and then I can join them and the blanket will be finished. And I'll be able to show you the finished article. But yeah, I had a good natter. We started watching a film and then we switched over and started watching a bit of YouTube. So enjoyed it. I had a good talk and I shall... Um, not see her again now until I'm back after my weekend away. So she's giving me my birthday present, which is exciting. So anyway, I shall see you tomorrow for another daily video. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, if you like the content and you haven't subscribed, if you could, it'd be wonderful because it really helps YouTube know that people are watching. And if you've liked the video, pop a like on it, comment down below, let me know how you're getting on and I shall see you tomorrow for another daily video. Bye.